Back in October 2022, we made a video on the new hard kernel Odroid HC Plus x86 single board computer. Hard kernel have now launched no less than three new H series Odroid computers the H4, H4 Plus, and the H4 Ultra. All of these computers have a slightly larger form factor of 12cm by 12cm, with the memory and M2 NVMe slot on the underneath of the circuit board. At first glance, the H4 series looks remarkably like its predecessors, however there are a number of important upgrades. All three models now take DDR5 memory on the underside of the board, and unlike the H3, there is now only a single SODIMM socket, taking up to 48GB of DDR5-4800 MTS memory, versus DDR4-2933 MTS on the H3 series. Although the maximum memory is a step down from the 64GB or the H3+, Plus, However, the move to faster DDR5 memory is welcomed. In order to reduce costs, the H4 model has only one Ethernet port, while the H4 Plus and H4 Ultra have two ports each, both supporting 2.5 GHz. All three models are set to support the four-port 2.5 GB expansion network card, making use of the NVMe port. The H4 model has no SATA ports, while the H4 Plus and H4 Ultra have four SATA 3 ports each, which is ideal for using them as a network attached storage device. All three models have one HDMI and two display ports each using integrated graphics. The H4 and H4 Plus have a four core N97 processor while the H4 Ultra sports a core i3 processor with no less than 8 cores. On the Odroid H4 Plus and Odroid H4 Ultra, you have a dual BIOS. You can boot into the backup BIOS by moving a jumper next to the DC bubble jack socket. Using the unlimited performance mode which is set in the BIOS, this enables the CPU to turbo boost indefinitely at 2.9 GHz on all cores and 3.6 GHz on one core for the H4 and H4 Plus, and 3 GHz on all cores and 3.8 GHz on one core for the H4 Ultra. As with the H3 boards, the H4 models accept a standard 12V fan with 4-pin connectors. When operating in unlimited performance mode, the use of a CPU fan is essential, as it was with the H3 series of Odroids in that mode. As there are three different models, we have three different costs. Ranging from the H4 to the H4 Plus, and at the top of the range, the H4 Ultra. Overall, the new models look like an excellent upgrade. I'll put links in the description below to the Hard Kernel website covering all of the technical details of the new boards, comparisons to the H2 and H3 series, and even benchmarks. I have already put in an order for two of the H4 boards, videos to follow. However, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.